Farmer Dre back at it. Today we are going to go ahead and officially mow the orchard for the first time. It will be my first time mowing the orchard. My brother Adrian, he's been doing it for, uh, I think he mowed the orchard three or four times already, but I guess it's my turn to do it. First off, I got to uh, grease the, the mower. I'm going to explain to you guys exactly how this works. It's a 13 foot mower. It's a special orchard mower. They my W Perfect Mowers. They specialize in orchard equipment. So I'm going to go ahead and grease it up and I'm going to show you guys exactly how this works. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell, bell button there so we get the notifications so you guys can watch my videos whenever I first post them. So you guys stay tuned for the ride. So this is how the mower looks underneath the uh, caps here. We got the main shaft, the differential there. We got one, two, three, four, five different blades on here. And you guys see those belts are real thick because it's, this is a finish mower. This underneath. So it is 12 feet solid. And then we have this extra sway bar here that cuts around the trees. So this thing, this thing just moves right back and forth. And this, all, this thing also spins there too. So. And there's also a blade underneath here as well. So we the tree's right here, so we just cut it. And then it hits the tree, moves back, swings back this way. And we get the orchard looking nicely. This spring here, is there to hit the back. So it's a very simple thing. And the belt's uh, all PTO driven. So we could do a 13 foot mower, gets the job done pretty quick. So I'm gonna put the cast back on here and then we'll head in the orchard and start mowing. change of plans over these past few days when we got a lot of rain our driveway here in front of the orchard has uh has some rock removed we have so much water in here so what we got to do what we just did is uh clear it up the uh the ditch real quick with a skid loader my dad's bringing our another bucket with uh, a smooth front so we can level this out real quick so change of plans my brother adrian's actually mowing the orchard right now i'm gonna go show you guys that in a bit but Change plans, always changing plans, always, always. Adrian, he actually mowed uh, about 75% of the orchard, and now I'm still in this Jonathan and Gala block back here in the back of the orchard. We did on the whole front. I'm getting to it. I should probably be here done in about half hour or so, give or take. It goes pretty quick, but I want to show you guys exactly how this mower works. So, uh, yeah, good stuff.
right, so as you guys see, uh, the mower is actually working pretty good. Some of the things that you have to keep in mind when we use this mower is that you gotta feel for the next tree because we gotta work, we're controlling it. And if you get too close and the, the actual fixed part of the mower hits the tree, and it, it can rub off the bark, and then if you rub off the bark too much, uh, one, uh, a few years ago I hit a tree with the, 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 the main part of the mower, and the tree died because it just scraped so much of the bark off of it. So that's why uh, I gotta continue and look back and forth. And you know, practically, you know, in papers, this, this mower should make it perfectly nice and beautiful. But as you guys see here, it's not, you know, it's still leaving stuff, some stuff between the trees. But it is what it is, you know. It's, it may get the main part of the, the orchard, but not, not everything, so. But as long as we can go up and down the roads and continue, you know, spraying or pick them or just inspect them, we don't worry too much about in between the in, in between the trees unless it gets really bad and then we just get the zero turn mower and we just come through and cut it. So you know in papers and they should uh, they say that it should work perfectly fine, but in reality it's not exactly how they say it. So and I could go a lot faster, but since the, I don't want that arm to hit the tree really hard because the grass in between the rows is not very big because they don't get much sunlight because all the sunlight goes to the apples and the apple tree and the leaves instead of the actual grass in between the rows. So we pumped about, it depends how much it rains, but you know, once every two weeks or even once a week sometimes come to the orchard. So it's just a matter of coming out here and doing it. Doing our whole 20 acre orchard takes about, you know, five to six hours, you know, and sometimes it takes longer, it takes a couple of two days sometimes. It depends how fast you're driving, what gear you're in, and how good you're at it. So. I'm gonna continue doing this, finish off the trees. I'm currently cutting the gala trees right now, so around the galas, and I should be done here pretty quick. So it is currently the next morning. I have to disconnect my dad's uh, dump trailer. We gotta connect the cargo trailer, and then I gotta finish mowing the orchard, and then we gotta finish putting some more glass around the trees. I gotta finish putting high density. So we have a lot of projects going on today. Uh, for the, it hasn't been raining for the past two days, so the soil starts to dry up. Maybe in uh, you know a couple more hours that we have high winds today, so we can dry it up a lot more, and then we can start to probably put the disc back in the ground at my brother's place where the blackberries are going. So we have so many projects going on today, but it's got to be done. So first, I gotta disconnect this stuff. So I'm in the greenhouse watering the blackberries now and I uh, I just barely realized that I haven't showed you guys our uh, greenhouse yet lately and I have showed them in the past but we got it's full of stuff we got flowers growing like crazy all these big tomato plants that need to go in the field whenever we get the soil I mean whenever it gets dry enough to plant but look at these blackberries they're just growing like crazy 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 we had to put a fan in here because it gets too warm and we're probably gonna put a shade cloth on here coming up pretty soon. So these are all dianthas, hanging baskets, marigolds, all kinds of more tomatoes. We probably got like three or four hundred tomato plants, probably more than that. It's just we gotta go out in the field. We haven't haven't had time. The weather hasn't cooperated with us to plant them out in, out in the field yet. So then here over here, I started a bunch of squashes, yellow squash zucchinis. I got some golden zucchinis as well, so they just, I seeded them last Thursday, I believe, so 
was it four days five days ago they're growing like crazy a lot of eggplants tomato plants all kinds of good stuff Alrighty guys, that is pretty much it for today. I showed you guys exactly how our orchard mower works. You know, I, I try to have a show, show as best as I can, but driving in and doing all that same time isn't, isn't the best, isn't the funnest thing in the world. But I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Hit that little bell notification button so you guys can see when I post my videos. Then uh, like, comment down below if you guys have any questions. And I want to say thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.